Hey everybody, welcome back to my porch dish again. It looks a little sunny out the window right now, but it's been raining on and off all morning. So I thought I'd do the porch video from inside my office today. Today I'm going to read you a daily devotion from todayintheword.org. And the scripture reference is Revelation 1, 17. It says, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. And the reflection author writes, Picture Day is an annual tradition in most schools. You re might remember the excitement of choosing your favorite outfit, brushing your hair one final time before the official class photo. In each class picture, there is a teacher widely smiling, saying, Here they are, world, my class. Jesus Christ is our great teacher. Imagine for a moment a class photo where Jesus was the teacher. Who are his students from this month's study? On the top row, we might see Zacchaeus, head held high, ready to share his wealth. In the middle, we might see Nicodemus telling his classmates, you must be born again. And then there's Peter. He is standing on the side of the riser shouting, I love you, Lord. Standing in the front row is a Samaritan woman, smiling with thankfulness. The lessons Jesus taught them are part of life's great lesson plan designed by God. Why? Because Jesus is much more than a teacher. Revelation 1 tells us that Jesus is the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the living one, and all things rest on him. Whether through a parable or an object lesson or Jesus' resurrection, it was God's intent for us to believe in and accept Jesus Christ, the Savior. During Jesus' teaching ministry, God revealed his plan for all history, past, present, and future. While being the great teacher, Jesus was foremost the incarnate God. There is no greater teacher for you to learn from or for you to share with others. If you know Christ as your Savior, then you are in Jesus' class picture, and God has called you to teach others the good news. Do not be afraid, says God. The Alpha and the Omega, the Almighty, is with you. An excellent thought. I like that idea of looking at the class picture and Jesus being as the teacher and all of us who have followed Jesus in that photo with him. What a great thought for today. I love to have a picture with me and Jesus, wouldn't you? That would be really cool. Jesus is our greatest teacher, but how do we learn from the great teacher? Well. We have his word. We have the scriptures here with us today. And the only way that you learn something is by reading, understanding, and then doing it, right? I mean, you remember when we were kids and we had, I don't think they teach it anymore, but penmanship classes. I remember when I was in elementary school, my dad was extremely picky about my handwriting and I would work really hard on an assignment and then show it to him to see if I did anything wrong. And he'd be like, oh, you got me your answers right, but then erase the entire page. He's like, but your handwriting's terrible. Do it again. What? What do you mean do it again? Oh my gosh, I just worked so hard on this paper. But I'll tell you something, I have more people today compliment me about my handwriting and how nice it is. And I always tell them, you'll have to thank my dad because it was rewriting and <laughs> rewriting those assignments that made my handwriting what it is. It was that repeating the process of learning, understanding, and then doing. That's what we have to do when we're learning from Jesus. It's not just go to Sunday morning services, listen to a great message, and then go home. It's learning from that message and then doing it and applying it to our own lives. So brothers and sisters, are you learning from Jesus this week? Have you learned a lesson that you're sharing with others? Maybe some great thoughts for you. 
I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.